In this video, I'm going to talk about the position and momentum operators in quantum mechanics. This video is part of a playlist on quantum mechanics. You can find the link to this playlist in the description below. First of all, let's have a recap of what we discovered in the past few videos of this playlist. So we're going to have a look at the expectation values of x and p, so position and momentum. First of all, let's have a look at position because that's actually what we defined first. So the expectation value of x, which is written like this, we denote the expectation value of a variable by putting these little triangular brackets around them. That is equal to the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of psi star, which is the complex conjugate of the wave function. And in the middle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in brackets. I'm going to put x over here. And I'll put psi over here, and we're going to integrate with respect to x. So this is a slightly different form to how we originally derived it, or uh, originally defined it in the previous videos. But I've just rearranged this. I've reordered uh, all of the terms inside the integrand, so in, in the integral. And this is a slightly more suggestive uh, representation. Because what I want to communicate here is that we're actually making a sandwich. So this is an integral sandwich. And the thing that's in the middle of the sandwich is related to the operator. Or in fact, this is the position operator. And this operator, multiplying by x, represents position. Let's have a look at the analogous version of this for momentum. So momentum is denoted by p. What we have is the expectation value of momentum is equal to the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of psi star Again, the complex conjugate of the wave function. And inside over here, the middle bit of the sandwich, this integral sandwich, is actually going to be h bar over i times the partial derivative with respect to x. And that's going to be in between these two psi's. And we're integrating with respect to x. So what is going on over here? Over here we have an x, and over here we have some combination of a derivative and a constant. And this constant actually has the imaginary unit i inside it. So it's a, it's a very strange combination. But what we're actually saying here is we need to sandwich an operator in order to find its expectation. So I'll take this analogy of a sandwich a bit further. Imagine the integral, uh, including this dx, is the bread of the sandwich. This psi star and this psi are kind of like the lettuce. So this is what you'd expect to see in a sandwich. And then you've got the specific uh, ingredients that make the sandwich special inside the middle. So this over here could be a cheese sandwich, and this could be a tomato sandwich. And you can actually combine cheese and tomato uh, in different operators as well to make your unique sandwich that actually represents the expectation value of any quantity. So any quantity you want, as long as you can write it in terms of position and momentum, you can find its expectation value. So this sandwich analogy gets us pretty far. Uh, when we're dealing uh, with these kind of integrals. So this thing in the middle over here, I'm going to call that the position operator. So we'll put a little hat on it. So this is the position operator. And this thing over here, I'm going to call that the momentum operator. So the momentum operator, in fact, I'll write it like this, the momentum operator is equivalent to this thing over here, h bar over i times this partial derivative with respect to x. And we're going to be using this in later videos as well. So this is very important. Uh, this operator is just equivalent to multiplying by x. So the operator that represents x is equivalent to just multiplying by the variable x. But momentum is a little more complicated. You have to take the partial derivative with respect to position, and then you have to multiply by this constant. One little clarification I want to make is that sometimes you'll see this written in the form h bar over i, but this is actually equivalent to minus i times h bar. Because multiplying by negative i is the same as dividing by i. So this is a thing to note. Sometimes you'll see minus i, and sometimes you'll see 1 over i. Just know that this is actually an equivalent form of this constant that goes out the front. So in this video, we discussed the expectation value of position, and the expectation value of momentum. 
we saw that if you sandwich, if you make an integral sandwich of the operator, that will give you the expectation value. So the result of this integral is a value. It's just a number. And that number gives you a sense of the average of a probability distribution. That's it for this video. You can find all the other videos in this quantum mechanics playlist if you click over here.